in this book, you talk about kind of the four different principles of a nutritarian diet. Um, mm -hmm. I'd love to talk about those four and then uh, also kind of dive in a little on each one. But the first one you talk about is calorie restriction in a micronutrient rich environment. So yes. what, what exactly do you mean by that? Yeah, I tell people to memorize those five words, moderate caloric restriction in the context of micronutrient excellence. Mm. So it's moderate caloric restriction with micronutrient excellence. Those are the five words. And we're saying here that the opposite is true. In other words, the, it works the other way. My point is, is when you don't achieve micronutrient adequacy and you're living on processed foods and animal products, and I'm saying a piece of chicken is like a bagel because the chicken and the bagel, though sources of macronutrients, the bagel has the carbohydrate, the chicken has the protein, but they are neither of one of them are a good source of micronutrients. They're low in vitamins and minerals, and they contain no antioxidants and phytochemicals to speak of. Mm -hmm. And so it leaves the body nutritionally deficient. And these nutritional deficiencies and lack of phytochemicals and antioxidants enable the body to build up more toxic waste and enhances food addiction and also makes the body cra eventually crave and desirous of more calories. So I'm saying that the weakness in the micronutrient content and diversity enhances a person's addictions and desires to overeat food. Mm -hmm. So as you achieve micronutrient excellence, you're more comfortable and less desirous of eating excessively. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna, so you're more likely comfortable with the right amount of calories. It doesn't mean you can't emotionally overeat and, and still make bad food choices, but at least you're not so driven biochemically with these unrelenting cravings to have to overeat so much. You know, um, and then we're saying, yes, that that um, that body fat is a major driver of diseases and that you, there's no such thing as a healthy, overweight person. As much as many people want to believe that and accept, you know, mm. bad science advocating that. But as we get our body fat goes up, so does insulin resistance and estrogen production and pro-inflammatory substances and angiogenesis promotion and all these um, factors we know that age us and drive chronic diseases are elevated by more body fat. So all people who are overweight are pre-diabetic because they're all insulin resistant. You can't not be insulin resistant when you have so much body fat. So I'm saying here this degree of moderate caloric restriction, we don't want to excessive calorically restrict to, desire, to drive mental obsession with eating or to make a person anorexic. We want to keep the BMI favorable for a woman between like 18 and 21, for a male between 19 and 22. We want to be moderately calorically restricted. So we maintain body fat in a favorable range below 15% for males and below 25% for females. And that's plenty permissive enough. You know, uh, so I'm saying here, um, the word moderate says, well, you can't just say restrict any amount of calories because people can go too far in that direction too but we get instinctually in touch with the right amount of calories with the best amount for us to maintain our best and healthiest weight when we eat a diet that's very healthy and we don't eat a diet that's very healthy. It's very hard to get instinctually connected to the right amount of calories. Mm -hmm. um, and your, is your, is your goal with, with this book and with the nutritarian lifestyle is it to maximize lifespan, slow aging, and increase health span? Is that yes. is that accurate? Absolutely accurate. Okay. We can increase health span and play span and lifespan. Yes, we want to have our full mental faculties and be able to enjoy our life. It's not so much that I care if I live to be 85, 90, or 95, or 100, but I don't want to be in a nursing home, certainly. I want to be fully able to enjoy my life and be healthy and well and not be medically crippled with all kinds of these diseases. So I can enjoy, well, we can enjoy our lives, you know? So yeah, I do. That's definitely what you're saying is definitely my mission. Yeah. What, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 70. 70. You look great for 70. And do you have a specific goal as far as like, I, that you want to live to, or are you just kind of taking it a year at a time? No, I really, um, not focused on lifespan. I'm focused on enjoying my life and and ha and seeing how I can 
um, appreciate the world around me, have connections with other people, still promote, have compassion and goodwill for others and trying to help people and, and just to enjoy doing all the things that we enjoy in life. And that's yeah. being enjoying our connections, helping other people, enjoying the world around us, being physically active, enjoying play and just, I'm enjoying living and want to continue doing so. And when I can't do that anymore, I'm not, I don't have to be alive um, just to be sick. You know what I mean? Right. 